Hey Scorpio, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for July 2022. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the rest of July. So take what resonates, obviously, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. We have rebirth. It is in reverse, which is interesting. Um, and we have salvation here at the bottom of the deck. So number 25 and 18... So I almost feel like this rebirth, um, being that it's in reverse, I almost feel like you're ending something. Like you're you're not quite at the rebirth phase yet. <laughs> um, but I almost feel like this is like you're headed in a positive direction. Like I do feel like you will hit that rebirth phase. It's almost just um, you're right on the edge of it, you know? So I don't feel like you're obviously not, I mean, anytime we end something, we hand, um, head in a new direction. Yeah, Ten of Swords here, Seven of Pentacles. So some of you are kind of like in the middle of an ending um, or going through some form of transformation here. Um, but it's like you're at the ending phase and then you're going to come into the rebirthing phase. So let's see what the tarot has for you, Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio here? Seven of Pentacles again. We have the Five of Swords. Five of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. The Page of Swords. The Knight of Wands. Judgment. Judgment's been coming out a lot. We have the Three of Cups and we have the Ten of Cups. The Devil here at the bottom of the deck with the World card. I do feel like you're kind of hitting the end of some form of a pattern here. Yeah, Nine of Wands, and then there's that Ten of Swords again. So I feel like you're coming to the end of something here. An old pattern, a wound. Um, I, but I feel like there's a, a healing sense because with Judgment, Three of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, like you're headed in a positive direction. You're headed towards happiness. You're headed towards fulfillment. But you're kind of like going through the shit right now. Judgment can be that like rebirth energy. So I feel like there's something that you're letting go of that you've invested time and energy and emotion into um but with the seven of pentacles five of swords five of pentacles i do feel like you're kind of like letting this go there's something some sort of conflict some sort of situation that again you've been investing into that has been like draining you i just feel like it's been weighing you down hasn't been serving you in some form of or fashion um, some of you could be experiencing a financial issues or as well. I mean, it doesn't surprise me with the times we're in, but, um, it feels more like an energetic weighing you down. Like you've like energetic poverty kind of, you know, like some, this, some, this situation has like taken a lot from you. Um, and with the six of cups, the page of swords and the knight of wands, it's almost like you're, you're looking at moving forward. I feel like you're, you're finding some answers I feel like with this page of swords you're getting some answers um, and I do feel like you're transitioning like I feel like you're in the midst of like moving and rebirthing into something better and something new again that three of cups ten of cups both of those together would indicate a lot of happiness celebration um, feeling good about where you're going okay so there's kind of this like rebirth but it's because you're letting go of the old right it's like you're shedding an old skin or shedding a skin, I guess. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles here for Scorpio. Obviously, obviously, to that rebirth and the judgment energy is Scorpio energy. It's Plutonic energy. So that kind of makes sense. I mean, I'm sure you guys are used to it, unfortunately, right? <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. What's this Five of Swords? So this could be something that you once invested in that you felt was stable. It had a foundation to it. It's something that you felt you could rely on at one point. Um... The Seven of Wands is here with the Five of Swords. I feel like you just decided like you're not going to put up with something anymore. Yeah, you've, you've cut something loose. Ace of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Hermit. You've pulled your energy back, maybe created some form of a boundary. This could be a person, a situation in your life. It's like, I just feel like you've, you've removed yourself from the situation. You've let it go. It is something that I feel like you put a lot of time and energy into. And I almost feel too like maybe it was a job. You were making a lot of good money or you maybe were able to make a solid amount of money, but it's like it was draining you in other ways, you know? 
So there's something that you're leaving behind or you're letting go that I feel like is bringing you a sense of clarity. It's like no longer weighing you down. It's cutting you free. It's releasing you. Even if it's been challenging and painful. Some of you, this has just been like a long cycle you've kind of been through here. What's this six of cups? It could be this Pluto and Capricorn uh, energy, or it could even be um, this Saturn energy as well, with the, the world and the devil there. Because we have Pluto in retrograde, and so is Saturn right now. So there could be something that's just kind of mixing up the energy here. The Six of Cups, we have the Two of Pentacles. Clarify this Page of Swords here for Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles. And what's this Knight of Wands? Seven of Swords with the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're like packing up and leaving. Um, I do feel like you're trying to figure something out. I feel like you're kind of going back and forth on something here. Again, some of you are maybe noticing some self-sabotaging behaviors or actions that you've maybe taken in the past or ways of um, contributing or the things that you've participated in or the things that you've maybe done or if it's like work, it's like how you've um, participated in work or, or the way of, in which you work has you've realized is self-sabotaging. I feel like there's a sense of you trying to find a sense of balance in what you're doing or how you're living your life. I do feel like with this Eight of Pentacles and this Page of Swords, you're trying to make some sort of change that's positive. I feel like you're learning, you're working on things like you're definitely not staying still. Like I feel like you are actively trying to either heal or improve your situation and you're learning. Like there's an active learning process um, to what you're experiencing. But I also feel with this Seven of Swords and Knight of Wands, you're, you're making changes for yourself that are serving you because I feel like Seven of Swords can be a card of strategy. It can also be a, a card of like detaching. It's an Aquarian energy. So it's like doing things for the benefit of yourself in, in some ways. And I feel like um, you might feel like maybe you're taking a bit of a risk, a little bit of a gamble here, but I feel like you're doing it for a certain reason and it's to move yourself forward in a positive direction with the Two of Wands. Um, and we have the Wheel of Fortune behind that. So it's like you're trying to make some sort of a positive change. Some of you could be figuring out how you're going to do that. Um, but I do feel like you're, you're wanting to make a positive change in your life. You're trying to free your energy from something. Clarify judgment for Scorpio. Yeah, we have the star. So again, that healing. And then we have the death energy. So definitely this like and, um, death and rebirth. And I feel like you're going to accomplish what it is that you're setting out to achieve with this Four of Wands. I think you're going to find something even more stable than what you once maybe even had um, with the Emperor and then also Temperance behind that. It's like you're going to find something more balanced, yeah, justice, more harmonious, something that's more in alignment for you. Because I, I feel like where you were at or what you were doing was not kind of keeping you stuck again it was like keeping you in a pattern or it was keeping you in a routine or a situation that was just beating you down it wasn't it wasn't truly serving you and sure maybe there was like again if it was a job it's like there was material success or there was some positive aspects but it's like you weren't enjoying the process or there was no love or there was no happiness you know like there was no enjoyment of it what's this three of cups here for Scorpio we have the hermit and we have the ace of pentacles with the magician so some of you are again I, I feel like you're trying to manifest something that it, um, and, or create something that is um, more fulfilling okay especially if it's like career um, this could be something that you're looking to maybe do alone or you're starting it alone, but you're wanting to collaborate with other people. Okay. So you may be wanting to, even with the three of cups, like from a work perspective, maybe network in some way, um, or work with different people or new people. But I do feel like you're kind of like entering a new environment or a new community, or you will be, what's this 10 of cups here? We have the King of Cups. So a lot of emotional fulfillment, stability. I feel like you, you're almost able to dream again. Seven of Cups. 
it's like after this challenging situation, it's like you start to look at the possibilities. Clarify Hermit and this Ace of Pentacles, please. Yeah, Knight of Swords. I think um, we have the Strength card here, we have the Hierophant, and we have the Hanged Man. It's like you're trusting yourself more. There's a sense of wisdom here that you are fully embracing. Now, for some of you, you could be teaching this to people. You could be showing people how to do something. It's like there could be a sense of even doing something online or like a, from a business perspective. If it's not that, this could be even just like you helping or you being in the healing industry of some sort. Or, you know, it's like you've had this big awakening and you've realized something and so you could be helping others. Um, and again, if it's not that, I just feel like you're ready to branch into energies or new places that serve you emotionally. But I think with this hermit, it's like you've you've gained the wisdom that you need from this situation, this ending. And that's what's allowing you to really step into something that has a foundation. It has a lot of potential and it has a lot of emotional fulfillment to it. This This past energy does not have any, there's no water there's the six of cups you might have some good memories with it but i almost feel like you're going to be able to create a lot better emotional experiences in the future with where you're going versus where you've been um, some of you could also be stepping into something creative but i feel like it somehow maybe involves other people with the three and the ten of cups even if you do it on your own you could be helping other people could be a relationship for some of you as well like maybe you're meeting new people or you know, but it's a it's definitely a better situation than what you've been in. Clarify, um, give me one more here for this King of Cups, Ten of Cups. This King of Cups obviously can be your energy as well because it is Scorpio energy. Yeah, Two of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. It's like where you're meant to be. I feel like there's like a change for the better and it's progressing you forward. This is something that you're going to have in the future. This is not something that you have like right now. This is something that you're going to have in the future that um, is going to bring expansion into your life. It's like it's almost going to progress from the Three of Cups to the Ten of Cups. There's like that to continual growth emotionally. Um, it'll probably take work with this Ten of, of Wands, but I also feel like you're probably feeling the burden of this Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, this betrayal, right? You're still feeling that burden. So this might feel unattainable right now or... Like, well, I don't have that in my life, so like, I don't even see that. I feel like it's it's coming into your life. I think once you fully have gone through this rebirth energy, again, you're in the ending phase, but you have yet to hit the rebirth. When you hit the rebirth, things I feel like could take off quite quickly. And it's going to be very, I feel like whatever this ending is, as painful as it can be, it's also very healing at the same time because there's a sense of growth and progression as well. At the, you know what I mean? Like endings are hard, but it, it means that we're growing and we're evolving. When we stay in the same situations forever and ever and ever and never change anything, it just means that we're not growing, right? There's no evolution to that. Um, and so there's growth here, which is always a good sign. As challenging as growth. Growing pains are not easy, right? <laughs> they don't feel good. Um, but yeah, I think there's something a lot better on the other side of this. Um, that's more emotionally fulfilling for you than maybe what you currently can see or maybe even realize. So that is what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of July and a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.